still lots to do, but I love it. This is literally one building. There are several. You can see how vast it is. I will try to zoom in on some things that we find. Okay, and then this is the exciting bit is the bathroom. I'm tempted to get into it. Should I get into it, Malcolm? Oh my gosh. It's so, I mean, it's big. Oh. Hey everybody, I'm here in Fivizano uh, at my house, my piccola casa, and I'm so excited because Malcolm, who is holding the camera, who is my interior designer extraordinaire, who also um, obviously did so much at Matt Burton as well, is now helping me with my piccola casa. We've just met with the builder and the geometra, and luckily Malcolm speaks um, decent Italian as well, so we can communicate the two of us with the two of them. We are so pleased with the hardwood floors. Um, we will be meeting with the carpenter about the doors and the skirting. Malcolm, remind me what the skirting's called again? Oh, thank you. He knows. I, can't, I keep forgetting that word. So the skirting, we've picked out really the grout, but you can see, again, this incredible color. I'll have Malcolm come up here and just this is the what I like to call sort of the master bedroom. So you can see it's got a bit of what would you say Malcolm? A little bit of lilac? Yeah, rose. Rose. I love that. Rose. So this is still lots to do but I love it. And um, we're going to head into here so I'm going to show you the other bedroom. Um, light, lights might, oh, they're working. Whoop, oh, there we go. Okay, so again, love the wood tiles. Love this, would you say, Malcolm, sea foam green, sea foam green, yeah. And then what we're just gonna have them do is just here, kind of go all the way in, paint the white here, and then have them go, have Michaela go all the way in and to paint the green there and the same with the other side. So obviously we're keeping this feature, but we just wanted this sort of cement right here. This is obviously not being painted, but the cement here. So we're gonna look for at the market, we're going to this amazing uh, Mercantile in Parma. It's vintage and antique furniture. I think it has over a thousand stalls. And we're also gonna be looking for antique light fixtures. And then coming into here, we had a little bit of a woohoo, but Malcolm is gonna go back and do his magic and redesign this room because this is where the, the loo goes. Italian bucci, right? How do you spell that? Oh, bucci. Oh, bucci. Oh my God, the whole time I was like, what? Bucci, right, okay, WC. I was wondering what they were saying. I just call them loo. Um, here, but we were gonna put lavatrice, the dishwasher, I mean the washing machine, lavatrice um, here, and lavandino here, but it's all a bit tight. So Malcolm has worked his magic. We're actually gonna put the washing machine lavatrice here, qui. We're gonna get a little um, piccolissima, I think is what Ennio said, piccolissima. Um, um, uh, do, uh, Lou, and then we'll put the sink here, the lavandina sink here with scaffale, so with a lot of shelves. So scaffale here, scaffale here. Um, we're super happy, but Malcolm is gonna have to work tonight. Sorry, Malcolm, designing it. <laughs> you might design it over a beer. Okay, and then this is the exciting bit is the bathroom, and I asked, they brought in the um, lavasca for me because I was like, please, I just need to see it in the room. You can see this lovely ochre color that Malcolm and I chose. It just goes well. Remember, I found this outside um, uh, Ricardo Bartel. It was outside, and then we sent it to Florence to have it all, yes, close up here to have it all redone. And it took a couple months to have this all redone. You probably remember from videos before what it looked like. And so it's just the most beautiful bath right now. Um, I'm tempted to get into it. Should I get into it, Malcolm? Okay. 
It's my bath. That's right, I can just, here we go. Oh my gosh. It's so, I mean, it's big. Oh, it's so perfect. I can't wait to take a bath in here. I literally can't wait. So this has been, I mean, so exciting for me. And I love the rust here. Malcolm luckily loves it too, so this stays. It's a feature. This is a lovely feature. I think it looks great with the wood tiles, brilliant with the ochre paint. All paint still needs another coat, so Makayla will come in. And then lastly, we have La Dolce, and we still have to get a door made here, so a door has to be made here. Obviously, I had to order. I didn't order enough. Uh, uh, matrio, uh, matronale. I think I got that right. Sorry, everybody. It's been a long day. <laughs> so my Italian isn't great today. Um, matronale. Thank you. Came to me. Um, so it will go around there. Fixtures here. Lovely window here. And they were able to find some antico um, marmo. So antico marble. And they were able to put that there. That will obviously be all cleaned up. But... We're getting there. And then Malcolm brought this up just to remind me of, if you haven't watched my video on my one euro hidden treasure find um, at an amazing flea market, please do. These were 15 euros each, but the glass tops I found were a euro and they were such a find. And I mean, how beautiful. I mean, this bathroom, I think it needs, I'm so excited about this bathroom. I want it to go into a magazine. <laughs> anyway. Lots more coming here. Malcolm and I are heading to Parma tomorrow and you will see us at the Antique and Vintage Fair. Over a thousand stall holders there. We'll be looking for armadio, uh, I think one armadio, un armadio for the uh, master bedroom, some um, chest of drawers, um, caseteria, um, and also Le Luce, some lights as well. And little, maybe like a towel rack. I don't know what towel rack is in. Um, Ashigamano is, I think, towel, but I don't know what towel rack would be, but comment down below what a towel rack would be. Anyway, lots more coming. Malcolm just drew that amazing thing for the uh, second bedroom. Our meal has arrived and it's Handmade, obviously, incredible, delicious. I'm just waiting for another glass of something by the stufa. I love it here. We are just arriving for the day. This gives you a snippet of how big this basically ex exhibition space is. We are arriving, we're about to go in there. And yeah, we can't wait to see what we find. Really, really excited. Okay, we are here. This is one, you can see how vast it is. I will try to zoom in on some things that we find, but we have to go up and down and up and down and up and down. We will definitely be getting well over 10,000 steps in, but so far it's pretty darn incredible. So what we're thinking is you've got Lenzuola, which are sheets. These are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And we're thinking that we, in the windows, in the bedrooms, we will hang curtains there, but we will also add little sort of half curtains on the window to give a little bit of privacy. And we were thinking of, uh, as Malcolm's brilliant idea of doing them um, with a little bit of this embroidery, even lace, but look at that. And you would have it halfway hanging down. Beautiful. So Malcolm has, Come across this is not the color we want but a wardrobe very similar to this and then on top we wouldn't put the chairs we would put some you know some vases or anything else ornate two chairs on either side but that is kind of what we're looking for for the main bedroom we are also looking for doors for between the kitchen and the sitting room and we really, we don't necessarily like this one that much, but we like the design of it. Don't like the white painted in around it, but it is rather lovely. This, this one's, look at these old, incredible doors here. Reclaimed, absolutely beautiful. So for, the what I call the second bedroom we like these 
but not with the decoration there. We don't, we, we're not keen on the painting, but just having these two sort of single bed heads, if you like, um, something similar to this, not these, but this gives you an idea of what we're looking for. I just really like this stall because I just love the different frames here. You can find all these incredible antique frames just in baskets here. Absolutely beautiful. We are looking for many things, one of them being one of the lights in the main bedroom. And we like the size of this one, but it's a bit too colorful for us. But look at just how extraordinary these lights are and the handicraft that went into all of these is sensational. It's absolutely sensational. Okay, the sun, the sun is shining for us. It's so vast here. We've gone through sort of one container, if you like. We have two more to go through. It's hard for me to really film um, to give you a sense of how vast it is. Malcolm is waiting for me over there. We're gonna head into that mammoth one behind me. We are in the next building and we have spotted these bedside tables. We really like those. Um, I think we do think that the, the shades are a little bit too far gone, but we do like the bases there. We love the bases, but also you can see um, there are similar lights to my lights in the bathroom, as in as far as the glass lamp shades there, beautiful. Some amazing chandeliers. We're looking for one for the main bedroom, but here we go. Our next mission is this enormous place. We love this frame right here, but wait till you see what this frame is sitting on top of. It's absolutely spectacular. Look at this. It's where all of your sort of herbs would go. It goes all the way down to there. Unbelievable. We have just paused for lunch up here, but you can, this will give you an idea of this is literally one building. There are several. This gives you an idea of how vast this antiques, vintage, and obviously some modern um, stuff is. We finished one half, we finished one building already, and we finished half of this one, so we're gonna head down right now and finish off with this half, and then we have a whole other building to do. I'm just throwing this out there, but if you watch Rockingham Castle, when we went into the long gallery, do you remember Lavinia and Richard brought this back from their travels in Venice? Um, look at this. I mean, this one is, it, it's absolutely extraordinary. Probably about the same size as the one from Rockingham. Ugh, so ornate. I just like this stall here, or this, I just think it's really pretty. And as you know, we're looking for, not these, but we'll be sort of putting in, if you like, curtains, but half curtains. Curtains all the way down, white linen, but then half. These are lovely with some lace. But this one's, I, I really actually really like this really beautiful stuff here beautiful painting there i actually really like that painting all right we we're not shopping for these but we quite like these on the shelf in the kitchen eventually when i do the shelf these are ours <laughs> one day soon love them oh my goodness we've come across this we act Absolutely love it, especially in the lilac rose bedroom, the main bedroom. We think it is stunning, 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 but it's too small. It's just, we need something, we need a much bigger piece there, but look at the artwork, the craftsmanship that's gone into this piece. It is, oh, so beautiful. 
I really like these lamps here. I think they're absolutely genius. All right, we love this for the kitchen. Love, love, love for the kitchen. We're not so sure on, about the shelves inside, but those are easily remedied. So we have just finished today. It has been a marathon of a day. There are over a thousand vendors here, here in Parma at this extraordinary vintage, antique and modern um, exhibition, if you like, over a thousand vendors. And we didn't really come here to buy per se. We wanted to get inspiration and which is what we definitely are walking away with. Lots of inspiration, lots of ideas. We knew exactly what we were looking for. And now it's just working out uh, where we want to go to find those um, places. We've taken a lot of cards, a lot of details from certain vendors here. I will be contacting a few of those that I'm definitely interested in, but you can see here, it's just vast. This is one you know, snippet of how extraordinary and vast um, this exhibition space is. I highly recommend coming here if you are looking for pieces um, to take to uh, your Italian house or really anywhere around the world. This is the place to go. And again, we're walking away with uh, such amazing inspiration, but I think a lot of the pieces that we want will be able to find probably less expensive in uh, the flea markets that you've probably seen me at before in uh, several of my Italian videos here. But again, a great day out filled with inspiration, but Malcolm and I are wiped out. It's been a marathon of a day and we are ready to get, um, to get home, have a lovely supper, and well, and before that, an aperitivo for sure. We have arrived back and there's my gorgeous bath. Obviously it won't be that close to the wall, but they were doing the grout today and this is the color that Malcolm and I chose. So um, it go, it's quite, um, so it's pretty much looks exactly like it was without the grout, if you like. So it's this lovely darker color um, and looks incredibly natural and these wood tiles really do look like real wood tiles. <laughs> It's, it's rather perfect, don't worry, all that will be cleaned up right there. But admiring my bath, admiring my bath, and also we've had um, Enyo bring up the uh, vanity that we had done, which you've seen before in past videos. Here's the sink, it still has the packaging on the left and the right. There's one of my uh, Le Luce um, lights, but we just wanted to see how it all looked and it looks brilliant. There's the shower next to it, and of course the window right there as well. Looking good. We are out on the terrace, Malcolm and I, and exploring ideas. Now Malcolm has already done designs for this place, and it, it's um, amazing, but we're trying to figure out where things would go, um, a whole bunch of things actually I don't want to give too much away but we'd like to start this project so that there's something here in place for the summer as you can see right now it's empty it's a great place for me to teach yoga that's for sure but we want to be able to at least enjoy it this summer and so we're thinking of what we can do right now in order to have drinks up here aperitivo all of that and and also have nibbles and enjoy, obviously, the church bells. I mean, my favorite thing in the whole wide world. So more coming very, very soon. We are at Forte de Marmi and so excited. This is where I found my bath, everybody. So that beautiful bathtub in my bathroom with that gorgeous rust on the outside was found here and then it was restored in Florence. So we're just heading here to look for a few pieces for my piccola casa. We are in Riccardo Bartel. It is incredible. This is where I found my bath and we are looking for more, obviously furniture bits, lights for the first floor, but I'll be giving you a tour. It's sensational. <laughs> These are beautiful tiles here, aren't they? We will go to Ruka Barondo a bit later, but they just have boxes of them. We 
are here looking for lights, particularly for the bathroom and for sort of the smaller bedroom. But Ricardo Bartel, I mean, this is where I, I did buy all of the fixtures for my bathroom. Uh, you will see those. In fact, you would have seen them in another video, but I absolutely love this mirror right here. Um, luckily, I have one that I love even more, but still um, in my bathroom. But it's just attention to detail here at Ricardo Bartel is second to none. Just the room I'm looking for, the bathroom room. Now granted, we have pretty much everything ready to go. The mirror I have is fantastic. But look at this beautiful bath here. And the tiles, and even the tiles on the floor. Well, we've found the bed we like. It is stunning, beautiful, perfect for the master bedroom detail. Even has maybe a Montague lozenge right there. You know, the three Montague lozenges. There we go. I'll, I'll say that they are <laughs> only because I can, but we really like this. We think this one is pretty darn special. Something extraordinary has just happened. It's unbelievable. The magic of Instagram, I'm gonna get emotional, is incredible. Um, while I'm at Ricardo Bartel, um, which I have visited before, once before in the past, um, the owner, Simona, as I was leaving, said, somebody dropped this off for you. And um, because she's a friend of mine, and she thought you, she thought you might come back to my shop. And uh, this, is um, my father-in-law and really my my husband's grandmother. I'm shaking because I'm just, and this is Rosemary, uh, another lady Hinchingbrook. And this was her sketchbook. And the letter that was written to me said, hi, Julie, I think this would be more appropriate in your family library rather than ours. Acquired in the Hinchingbrook estate sale, Hinchingbrook, the family home, ancestral home was sold in the 1950s after the Second World War due to taxes and the economic pressure of it. Um, it was sold in the 50s with a number of other items. And one day I'm planning to do the proper tourist tour of Mapperton, but perhaps if you have interest, we could one day meet for a drink. Um, so I just wanna say thank you. Uh, I've already sent this to my husband and my father-in-law, but it's her little sketchbook here. And it's lovely and there are, she was also an artist and there are some um, drawings here. And uh, I suspect one of, I suspect that's probably my father-in-law right there, but these would have been possibly her children right here. So rather wonderful, uh, the power of social media, you know, some of it is uh, pretty good. It's not all bad. are leaving today. My hair is still wet from the shower. It's uh, only uh, half past eight in the morning, but we have a lot to do. So um, first and foremost, everything we do here is piano piano. So slowly, slowly. And I don't want to rush into anything. I want to make it as perfect for me as possible. Yesterday at the flea market, once again, we found this absolutely gorgeous light the bathroom light, and these sort of, um, what are these called, Malcolm, remind me? What would you? Glass lampshades. Glass lampshades, okay, yeah. I thought that there was, I thought there was a special interior designer name <laughs> for them, but there's not. There's a glass lampshades. So these will look fantastic with the one euro bargain that I bought for the lamp uh, shades over above the sink here. We're gonna have um, Enyo just, again, trim it here and then um, connect it back here. We just need to lose this bit of height here, but you can see it's going to look perfect up there once we cut the height. So this is the bathroom light, and I'm gonna carefully put that down here. And you can see we've got the, um, the Lavandino, if I haven't showed that already, that Deborah did, same flea market right here and same flea market again. But these two, follow me, 
are going here. So I will show you this. This is what I've been looking for. So when, Mark, when Malcolm and I went to the Mercantile Parma, we found one of these, a pair, and they were 450 euros. This exact same, what we found at the flea market, the pair were 70 euros. So I flea market shopping for me sometimes, most times, can be better. So these are absolutely beautiful. We'll put little lampshades, probably fabric lampshades, on top of these. But those were our really big finds from the flea market. And then I'll probably be ordering this armadio from Ricardo Bartel, have it painted, and it will go into the main bedroom. But we did get a lot accomplished. We're, gonna, we're waiting for Enyo now. We'll be talking about the batiscopa, the skirting, and the doors as soon as he arrives. But that is a buy from me. Enyo is here. So I've got to get on to my meeting and get my head around speaking in Italian in about five seconds. Here's some behind the scenes footage of what's been happening over the past month. The gorgeous Italian wood tiles have been cut to size and fitted properly. I had them laid over the white tiles you see here because it was a lot less expensive to do it this way. And here's Michaela, an artist, painting the bathroom, but wait until you see the final outcome because there's still one more coat to go. A huge thank you to our American Viscountess patrons who help support the production costs of my vlogs and historic house visits. By becoming a patron, you get early access to all my videos, plus behind the scenes content, live Q and A's and other goodies. Please do consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash American Viscountess. Ci vediamo.